another new day and I hope you're doing well. When I talked about this on Sunday, recall at the beginning of Genesis 18 that Abraham, he was sitting by the door of his tent in the heat of the day. And when he was there, he suddenly saw three men, strangers, just standing there. Just think about the situation for Abraham a little bit. Other than the servants that he had, Abraham lived out in the country, away from any city, away from other people. The only people who were with him were basically his family, which was only Sarah. And the only people he saw, maybe, were traveling between locations when they were going between destinations as they passed by. There really probably weren't very many of these. People traveled by foot, and most of their friends and relatives lived nearby. Other than traders and nomads, people did not travel like they do today. So the tent on which Abraham was living, it was on borrowed land, and it was his only home. Although God had promised to give all the land around him to his ancestors, Abraham owned no land and really essentially was a squatter. When Abraham saw these strangers, why would he invite these strangers in? Is that something you would do if you saw strangers? If you saw some strangers standing outside your door looking around, would you invite them in to rest and share a meal with you? Probably not, but maybe you would. Although he didn't know who they were, Abraham invited them to rest and be refreshed with a big meal before they went along on their journey. Abraham went all out. He tells Sarah to make bread and for a servants to prepare a choice calf. It was probably in Abraham's mind that these travelers could use the extra food to take with them on their journey. As a foreigner in Haran and now in Canaan, Abraham knew what it was like to be a sojourner and what welcoming hospitality would mean from someone else. He knew what it was be to be hospitable. Even though Abraham doesn't know it is God and two angels, he continues to host them and attend them by standing by. Abraham is a great example of being hospitable. hospitable. As was shared in the sermon, being hospitable means to extend love to strangers. It's the art of making others feel welcome and valued, and it is a quality that God desires his followers to have. God talks about this in his word. You shall treat the stranger who sojourns with you as the native among you, and you shall love him as yourself. That comes out of Leviticus. And in Hebrews, it says, do not forget to show hospitality to strangers, for by so doing, some people have shown hospitality to angels without knowing it, as such was the case with Abraham. Abraham's hospitality is an example of how we as God's followers should be towards swords towards other sojourners in life. Those people who are moving from place to place, looking for a place to call home, those who do not know the love of God. As the writer of Hebrews says, we like Abraham may not know who we are entertaining if we do not offer hospitality to others. There are many people in our sphere of influences who are really strangers to us. People that we just know casually or consider them passers-by. Even people in our own church and in small groups that we are part of, they really may be strangers to us. Hospitality is a spiritual gift, but it is also a quality that can and should be developed just like all aspects of our faith. However, to gain this quality, we must practice. Here are some practical suggestions for you to become more hospitable. Be welcoming to everyone you meet, especially at church. Greet them warmly. Learn their name. Get to know something about them. Engage them by arranging to do some common activity with them. Share a meal. Go to coffee. Go to a movie. Go bowling. Go to sporting events. Have a barbecue. Go on an outing. But do something with them. If you do things as a family, it's use it as an opportunity to invite others to join in. And lastly, get to know them well enough so that you can pray for them and are meet a need in and in time that they may have meet a need that they may have so as peter says offer hospitality to one another without grumbling share with the lord's people who are in need 
practice hospitality, Paul says in Romans. Like Abraham, God will bless you as a result of your hospitality. Practice it and see what God does.